There is potentially a huge interior surprise for the 2025 redesigned Forerunner that no one's talking about, but I'm gonna discuss it just ahead in this video, so stay tuned. Now, did you all actually think that Toyota would not continue on with the power rear window for the 2025 or the redesigned Toyota 4Runner in general? That is one of the absolute must-haves for keeping the new 4Runner a 4Runner. It's a very niche option, and the 4Runner has been one of the few vehicles and models out there on the market that can actually pull this off. It's very hard to do. It's very costly. It's very involved, especially for the engineers and that at Toyota to get this work properly or working properly. And it's continuing. Toyota did not disappoint at all for the new generation 2025 Toyota 4Runner. Now, how cool would it be if that hatch actually opens via power? So you have a power tailgate with a power sliding rear window. Ugh. I don't want to give your hopes too high, but we'll find out sometime soon. But definitely you've got the power sliding glass. Let's move on. All right, guys, let's get the latest image that was shared from Toyota Canada and let's modify the image a little bit. We're going to zoom in, zoom out, change the brightness, contrast and so on. And let's see in more detail what we can find out about the interior on this 25 Toyota 4Runner. So taking a look here, it looks to me like the interior is somewhat similar to the interior of the new redesigned 2024 Toyota Tacoma. And you'll see that overall with the silhouette of how things are laid out and designed on this interior. Check out where the push button start is on this particular 4Runner here. You've got that super large wide touch screen for the multimedia which pretty much means you've got the latest toyota multimedia with wireless apple carplay on the toyota 4runner that is a huge leap forward for what we currently have on the 2024 toyota 4runners and that probably means that we're getting at least the latest toyota safety sense which is tss 3.0 on the latest 4runner how cool are these updates now we're gonna get to that huge surprise in just a second, but let's take a little bit more of a closer look and zoom in a little bit more on this interior. It looks like what's to me a digital cluster. Now I can't really tell the size here in terms of your multi information display. That's what I'm referring to. I can't tell if it's an eight inch, a 12 inch, 13 inch, but it looks like at least on one of the models, uh, it's gonna have an available uh, standard equipped digital cluster and just again going back to some of the options and trims and characteristics on the interior very similar to that of the new redesigned toyota tacoma but that's not bad news because toyota did a fantastic job on the interior and the exterior of the 24 toyota tacoma don't you think so let me know in the comments below now a lot of guys on youtube are talking about the interior seating color which guys I'm sorry, but I don't think that these are black seats. These look like some kind of very dark brown, maybe a portobello, maybe the redwood is staying, but these do not look like black seats. So I do think we're gonna have some interior uh, soft text or leather uh, choices when we're looking at the interior selection of the 2025 Toyota 4Runner. Now let's talk about my huge surprise that I think is happening, it's probably gonna happen, for the 2025 Toyota 4Runner. Let's go over it. Okay, so what happened with the 2023 Toyota Tacoma and then now the 2024 Toyota Tacoma redesign? Well, we kept the TRD Pro, obviously. Uh, TRD Pro is now available in a hybrid only for the Toyota Tacoma. I believe the same is gonna happen for the Toyota 4Runner. If you want a TRD Pro, it's gonna have to be the hybrid option. Now, mind you, there's a chance that the TRD Pro or the 4Runner in general all models can go all hybrid like the current Land Cruiser is going to be. But if not, I do strongly feel and believe that the TRD Pro will be available only in a hybrid. Now, what happened with the interior on the 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro? You are now available uh, 
as an option. It's available to get the red seats, the red interior, which I've been saying for a long time that if and when Toyota redesigns the new Forerunner, it's going to follow suit that you are going to have the option for the red interior. How cool will that be to have a hybrid TRD Pro 2025 redesigned Toyota Forerunner with an available red interior? Gosh, that's going to look so amazing. I can't wait. Now, okay, guys, going back to that photo that we just recently got from Toyota about the new redesign, take a look at the top rear spoiler is that not almost identical to the current rear spoiler on the new or the old generation now toyota forerunner let me know in the comments below am i seeing things uh take another look around this window you can see there's some piano black added to the trim and the accents of the all-new redesigned toyota forerunner on some models perhaps how cool is that Oh, and is this not cavalry blue? Is that going to be an option now for 2025 on the Toyota 4Runner? How cool is that? I wonder what package and what model it is that they're showing us here that's available in that color. Well, everyone, what do you think about the redesigned Toyota 4Runner so far? Did Toyota follow through with all your promises, hopes, dreams, and wishes? So far, I think they absolutely nailed it especially with what I think is going to happen for the TRD Pro specifically in terms of power plant, in terms of interior. Let me know what you think. We'll catch you on the next video, guys. Take care.